Hey Worldwide Photo Walk attendees, my name is Terry White. I'm gonna give you a couple of tips for adjusting your photos from this year's Photo Walk. Uh, now, yeah, I don't know where you're shooting. Maybe you're shooting a beautiful city, a beautiful landscape, you know, maybe you've got models involved, whatever it may be, you can usually make your images look a little bit better with a few adjustments in Lightroom CC or Lightroom Classic CC. So I've got a couple of images here from various photo walks I've done. And here's one from a really old photo walk. And I, I never really did anything with this photo because out of the camera, it doesn't look that great. But now we've got some newer technology, some newer things to make this photo look a little bit better. So let's go ahead and take a look at those. First and foremost, I always tell people that typically you're gonna start in the optics and I'm gonna go ahead and apply lens profile correction. That will just help take, take away some of that curvature some of that vignetting, whatever your lens is doing to the photo. Then, because we have the new profiles, and I did shoot this in RAW, I can choose a different profile, and I usually like for landscapes, landscapes, or uh, Vivid, especially if it's a landscape with people in it. So I'll choose Vivid, and away we go. Next up, I like to get a good starting point, and rather than me try and go through all the sliders and figure out which one's gonna do the best job, the new, um, Adobe Sensei, which is artificial intelligence powered auto, will look at your image and compare to similar images and make adjustments accordingly. Now, you don't have to agree with all the adjustments, but it gives you a much better starting point. So when I do that, boom, I, I'm, the image is better right off the bat, even though there's some things I disagree with. So for example, when I use auto, it tends to lower the contrast, and I'm not a fan of that, so I'll usually just go ahead and punch the contrast right back up. Um, it did a good job of lightening the shadows, but there's still a lot of shadows going on here, so I might go ahead and lighten up the shadows just a bit more. Again, this is me overriding what Auto did. And one of the things that you always want to look out for when you're working with landscape images is your horizon. You want to make sure your horizon's not crooked. So one of the ways we can fix that or take care of that is just go right into crop. Now crop will attempt to do an auto level. It will attempt, to, you know, it will attempt to straighten it out. But if you don't like it, if it's still not perfectly straight and I have that nice bridge to work with, I can tweak it just a bit more and get it perfectly straight. Now, if you still want to make other adjustments, uh, for example, maybe I want to go into the effects and I want to work on dehaze because I haven't met a landscape yet that couldn't benefit from a little dehaze. And that starts to pull things back in, good. Starts to give me a little bit more cloud detail, but I, I still would like a little bit more dr drama in my sky, and I would still like this area a little bit lighter. So, a couple problems. Number one, this guy is almost, his, his face is cut off. He's not really interesting for the shot. He's looking away from everything. And I kind of want the attention to be on this area not the guy that's looking away. So don't be afraid, if, you're, if you can't easily remove a subject, don't be afraid to crop subjects out of your image if it's gonna be distracting. So that's one of the quick ways of removing a distracting element that's on the side. That makes it really easy. Now I can concentrate on the things that I wanna keep in the photo. So for example, I might take an adjustment brush and I've got my adjustment brush set to just give me a brighter exposure and I've got a big brush here and I can just go ahead and paint in a brighter exposure here on the side of this photo. So just paint that in. Once I paint the area with that adjustment brush, then I can go in and adjust it further. So if I wanted it to be a little lighter, I can make it lighter. If I don't want it to be as light, I can make it darker. So those are selective adjustments. The adjustment brush is one. The other one is the linear adjustment. So for example, I can, uh, I've got that one set to exposure. I'm gonna go ahead and pull the exposure down on this one and pull it down from the top. And that will kind of darken that sky, make it a little bit more dramatic. I can go further and I can even go in and add dehaze now to this selective adjustment just to kind of pull that back in a bit more. Now, I'm a fan of blue water and the water here is certainly blue, but if I wanted that water to be bluer, then I might go into my adjustment brush again, add a new adjustment, and I might adjust the temperature of the water. In other words, just to make that water a bit bluer. So I can go ahead and paint that in. I know what you're saying, well, it's not really that blue in real life. Who cares? This is my photo. I want my, blue, I want my water blue. If I were doing an edit editorial work where it had to be 
exactly what was there, then yeah, I wouldn't do this. Now that's a little too blue, don't get me wrong, but it lets me see areas that I painted and see any areas I've missed. And once I get it all painted in, then I can dial it back a bit, say, no, 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 that's a little too blue. Let's pull it back a bit more. All right. So, not the best photo in the world, but you certainly made it better. And that's the whole point is, take a great photo to begin with. This is not a great photo, but take a great photo to begin with. Then go make that photo better. Take care of any little things that are bothering you about the photo, whether you're doing it in Lightroom CC or Lightroom Classic CC, and you'll be on your way to hopefully winning the Worldwide Photo Walk Contest this year. Cheers, everybody. Take care. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next one. Uh -huh.